Hi, and welcome to the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. I'm your host, Tegan Thompson. I'm a book lover, a chocoholic, and an INTJ living in a world filled with extroverts. I made this podcast to share my experiences and struggles as an introverted perfectionist and to bring the inner workings of an introvert's mind to introverts and extroverts alike. So grab a cup of tea and get comfortable. It's time to unmute. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. I can't believe it's almost the end of January. It feels like the first month of this year has just gone by so fast. And maybe that's just because I keep getting older and time seems to go by faster as I get older. But I don't know. But it's definitely gone by fast. Um, This week we'll be talking about the concept of wearing a shell that's often associated with introverts. And I've heard this concept in many different phrases uh, throughout my life. And some of these I've heard very recently, in fact. Um, the most common example of this is when people say, oh, you need to get out of your shell. I hear this all the time. And my, one of my sisters actually just said it to me like a couple weeks ago. And it's definitely by far the one that I hear the most often. But other ways that this can be said is um, when people say, oh, you're so boring. Uh, or you need to make more friends. And this one's a little weird to me because I'm like, why do I need to make more friends? Like, I don't know, the con- the concept of like quantity versus quality has been really big for me. And I always have valued high quality friends rather than high quantity friends. Um, so I've never really cared about the amount of friends I've had as long as they're really good friends, people that I can be myself around and that I enjoy being with. Um, another version of this phrase is by saying things like, uh, you need to put yourself out there more. And again, it's kind of like, why, if I'm comfortable with what I'm doing and I'm putting myself out there in a high quality way, less amount of times, it's still impactful. Um, and another thing that I hear often is you need to come out of your comfort zone. And again, like, why do I need to come out of my comfort zone? Like, you don't hear this being said to extroverts very often to come out of their own comfort zone because this comfort zone is associated with introverts and kind of keeping to yourself sometimes and being outside of that is more extrovert and being more social but if that's just your character you're not really outside your comfort zone you're in fact directly inside your comfort zone so if extroverts don't need to come outside of their comfort zone why do introverts need to go outside of their their comfort zone i don't know I am going to touch on this a little bit more in a little bit. Um, so, like, I've heard these phrases so many times, but what exactly do these phrases mean? And I actually was looking it up on the internet because I was curious to see what other people thought. And I came across one, and they said, if someone comes out of their shell... They stop being shy and withdrawn and become more friendly and sociable. And all I could think when I read this was this is a very extroverted point of view of an introvert, like from the outside. And I was just like, why are you assuming that introverts aren't friendly? Be, just because they're introverted, just because they maybe like to be a little more in the background sometimes and more observant, does it mean they're not friendly? If you walk up to an instro- introvert, you're more than likely going to be able to have a conversation with them. It's not like they're going to like brush you off and be like, go away, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm not going to be rude about it. <laughs> um, so I just thought that was really interesting. 
Um, but that's what I saw on the internet. What these phrases kind of mean to me and what I take away from them often is that when extroverts talk about this concept of a shell and how introverts need to come out of it, they are often saying that or believing that introverts kind of are in this self-imposed confinement, uh, almost like a prison. Like they're forcing themselves or to stay in a place that isn't safe or comfortable or somewhere they want to be when in fact it is because otherwise the introvert wouldn't be there. Um, so this kind of carries this false belief that introverts aren't free. And again, this is in, in an extroverted point of view. And so introverts aren't free, they aren't able to have fun, and kind of puts this expectation that it, introverts need to outwardly express themselves the same way that extroverts do in order to be perceived as free and uh, outgoing and kind of like this fun persona. Uh, so it's kind of what those phrases mean, but why do extroverts say these phrases? And I've touched on this a little bit before in a previous episode, um, but the biggest thing is that extroverts want introverts to have fun and to be fun. And in order for this to happen, the extrovert has to be able to perceive the introvert as a fun person. So an extrovert cannot have fun and they cannot be comfortable in a environment unless they believe that the introvert is having fun as well. And again, when they're believing this, they're believing from how they feel when they're f having fun or what they're doing when they're having fun. Um, and this belief stems a lot from this need for extroverts to be comfortable in every environment that they're in. And in order to be comfortable, they like it to be very sociable. They like to talk a lot and kind of just like engage with the people in their environment. Um, and so this kind of forces introverts to have to conform to extroverts comfort and socialization levels in order for extroverts to perceive introverts as having fun. <laughs> even when that may not be fun for introverts. And so this is a one-sided expectation that introverts need to be more outgoing and socialize more um, in order for extroverts to be comfortable and to make an environment in general kind of more uh, chill and a place where people feel like they can have fun or extroverts can feel like they have fun. Um, but extroverts are not expected to relax more or kind of engage in silence or quiet throughout uh, the day or a specific time that they're in an environment. And so this kind of places extroversion as the norm in our society and introverts are the outcasts and they're immediately viewed as weird and abnormal and need to change because that's not how the rest of us are. So obviously you're wrong. Um, and another point on this is that because of this, because introverts don't have fun the same way extroverts do. Um, it may feel for an extrovert that it's harder to please an introvert. Um, and that's because introverts 
prefer this like uh, deep and meaningful conversation and interactions rather than more superficial ones that kind of just surface level touch on things uh, because they really want to get to know people whereas extroverts are okay with this they're okay with just like brushing the surface of things or talking about things that are super meaningless because they just want to engage in that socialization whereas introverts when they when they're engaging in socialization they want it to be meaningful they want it to be impactful they want it to be something that could potentially change how they view life because that's the way they think um so from an extrovert's point of view it may be hard to please an introvert and i can totally understand that um but it is definitely worth it because i mean i know i'm an introvert and i'm not saying that because i'm an introvert (laughs) Um, I'm saying that because I have friends who are introverts and it took a while to really get to know them and kind of find this place where we could engage in a conversation that was like super meaningful to both of us and we were able to have fun at the same time and once we found that it like was absolutely amazing came super close as friends and um like definitely worth it like the best friendship I've had in my entire life kind of thing um so yes definitely worth it don't let it scare you um or deter you go for it get to know that introvert in your life I promise it will be worth it um So yeah, so basically it comes down to this fact that introverts live life and enjoy life differently than extroverts do. And to kind of put this into a perspective that might be more understandable, um, you wouldn't ask someone with a different face to conform to your lifestyle and conform to your beliefs and to live exactly like you do or at least I hope you wouldn't (laughs) um because that's not what they believe and that's not what is gonna impact their life or make them feel like they're living a meaningful lifestyle um similarly in a kind of more silly um, perspective is you wouldn't walk up to a toddler and ask them to take on all your responsibilities like hey you have to start going to my nine to five job for me and uh, you need to make sure you buy all the groceries that we need for the week and take care of um, all of our payments for the month make all our meals make sure uh, all the kids are um going to school getting their homework done like you wouldn't ask a toddler to do that because that just doesn't make sense because they're not ready for that because that's they're not at that stage and so kind of in a similar way extroverts shouldn't ask introverts who don't think the same way and don't find enjoyment in the same things to change and be exactly like them and vice versa introverts shouldn't ask extroverts to change at all either because it's not going to be pleasing for them they don't want to change and if they need to change for you to if they need to change in order for you to be comfortable and feel like you're having fun then I would suggest maybe taking an inward look and finding something that kind of can be more satisfying inwardly rather than finding satisfaction from the people around you and it will definitely make you happier and be more pleasing when you can find the inward rather than outward satisfaction. 
Um, so yeah, so why is there this expectation for introverts to change? I don't know. <laughs> uh, there really shouldn't be. Um, but so the shell that we like to associate with introverts, I'm not going to deny that it's not there because I would say for a fact that I carry around a shell. Um, but for me, that shell is like a protective barrier that I can carry everywhere I go. And when I need to retreat for a second or remove myself from a situation, I know that I can do that within myself and kind of restabilize, find myself again, and just be like, go and do whatever I need to do, you know? Um, and kind of why I named this episode The Tortoise and the Hare is because um, I saw like this meme or this kind of cartoonish thing is like a tortoise and a hare and um, the tortoise was like, oh, I'll race you home. And the hare was like, okay, bet. And the tor- the then you see the tortoise like curl up into its shell and the hare hasn't moved anywhere and the hare is like, ah, shoot, like, I should have thought about that, obviously, right? But it's kind of like this idea that some people need to be or are more comfortable being in environments that feel safe and feel like home more often than other people, and that's okay. Um, That shouldn't be something that is looked down upon or expected to change. Um, uh, Another thing is, you know, when introverts don't socialize as much, it's like, oh, you need to get out of your comfort zone. You need to come out of your shell, right? Um, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Most introverts, I say most because... I'm not going to say all because that would just be exclusive of those select few who don't agree with this statement, but most introverts are usually very happy with their social lives. Very happy. And I should say actually the lack of social life. Because again, I, I've i mentioned this in a previous episode, it's, it's draining. It's so draining. Um... I plan on doing an episode on this in the future on social exhaustion. It's very draining for introverts to be in social environments for long periods of time. And so, again, having this shell and being able to retreat within yourself and kind of get away from all the people, all (laughs) all the conversations, all the noise, is very helpful in being able to kind of recharge and get back to a more stable level. Um, And the last thing I want to say is introverts don't need to change because there's literally nothing wrong with us. Um, It's the way that our brain developed and the way that our genes and our environment and our culture shaped us and honestly I don't even know if it's something you could truly change because it is part of one's personality and introverts don't need to change extroverts don't need to change because that's what makes you you and that's what makes you unique and again uniqueness is so important I love diversity diversity is such a beautiful thing um but yeah there's no need to change and i think when we find acceptance and i say we as in everyone introverts and extroverts find this acceptance that okay introverts they need time alone sometimes so that they can recharge get their energy back and that's okay And extroverts, they need to have that socialization so that they can get that energy. And that's okay. 
and knowing that there are those different people and that you're going to have this spectrum also. You're going to have people at the far end of the extroversion um, scale, like 100% extroverted. And that would be my mom for you. 100% extroverted. And you're going to have people all the way at the other end. It's 100% introverted. Almost me. I'm not quite 100%. And you're going to have people in between. You're going to have people who are maybe 50-50. And it's kind of going to be like some days they need to be alone and some days they need that socialization. And that's okay. And finding that acceptance for yourself and for other people is so, so incredibly important. And something that we should work towards together as a society. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to say thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. If you enjoyed this episode or if you learned something new, please go share it with a friend. And as always, have a good weekend, and I look forward to seeing you guys again next week on the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. (laughs) 